G'day guys, welcome back to Travelling Out West. <laughs> I'm Ricky and this is Tammy. That could be our new caravanning names, Ricky and Tammy. It is, that's us, Ricky and Tammy. You got a caravanning name. Anyway, um, caravanning around Australia, Paul, and this is Betty. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just going to the Les Wilson Barramundi Discovery Centre to discover some Barramundi by Les Wilson. <laughs> The first discovery was trying to find the way to get in and it says swim this way so this is the way we're swimming. We've got an interpretive area which is free for you to walk through. Yep. There's a heap of information in there, there's a film, um, you can take your, take your time in there. Coffee shop's open, yep. or a cafe, um, really good coffee. We also do guided tours. So the next one's due for 11 o'clock, which yep. is a feeder barrow tour. Yep. Nice. What we do with that is that we take you over to the hatchery, we give you a bit of a tour, we, you watch a bit of a film. Uh, and then we go out and feed the, the big barrow in the pool. Gene. They're not um, albino. They don't exhibit any other albino traits. They're an actual colour. So there's three recognised colours. There's the pure white one, 
This one's the Panda, so you might notice it's got black speckles on its um, top dorsal fin and also its tail. Over a period of time, those spots will consolidate and turn into a patch. So it'll be a black patch on the white fish, which is why it's called a Panda. There is the other one you might have noticed on the film uh, called a golden one. Yep. Now that one actually um, sustained an injury during transport. transport. And uh, because it's so rare, we've been waiting all this time to get another one. Um, we will, they've just advised us that they might have one that we can have. So. Uh...